This is Chris Yadaho Painter here on Paint Live TV. Got Jeremy and John with me, and we got a really cool tip today. And hopefully, you never have to use this tip, but if you do, this is a good tip. But let's be realistic. It happens sometime. If you do proper masking and stuff and you leave your masking on long enough, you may not run into this. But unfortunately, we've got a sad face right here. <laughs> and at least this one's not a happy face. And um, but there you go. We dripped some paint on a screen. Not we, but one of the paint live crew members. And so there it is. No need to panic because it will come off. And it'll come off with a couple simple tools and typically water. So we always keep, what do we keep in the van for doing this, John? We always have, uh, on our job site, there's always a hose that's on and we just keep a little on off valve on it. That way we can get to water really quick. And then we also always keep pairs of toothbrushes in each of the vehicles because they're really handy for dealing with these kinds of things. Handy for needing to brush your teeth if you're going to, um, you know, a bid and you forgot to brush your teeth, but. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do it after we've done this, but I mean, dealer's choice. Yes, so here we go. So we typically start off trying to remove it with water first and cool water. And if it, water doesn't do the trick, we'll go to Dirtex next. And Dirtex is basically ammonia. That's really all it is. But here we go, we got John working on it. I'm gonna give you a view with the camera here. Okay, John. So we're taking the hose here and we're just going to try to get the majority of it off. But obviously there's still going to be stuff left all over the screen right here. So the reason we use two toothbrushes is because you're going to want to take one and, and basically back the other toothbrush with it so that you're not pushing things through. And then we're just kind of going to work in a circular motion here because the problem is there's paint on all the different sides of these grids now, and we gotta get rid of that. It's still recording. It's recording. So John's continuing to just work it with water, and this is just cool water, isn't it, John? It is, yeah. No soap, no chemicals? No soap, no chemicals, and usually if, if someone catches that they did it and admits that they did it early enough, they can usually just take care of it with water. You want to use the ammonia from the Dirtex kind of sparingly because that's going to, uh, especially if the screen's pretty faded, it's going to kind of discolor it, and then yeah. you end up with a bigger mess on your hands. And you want to just be soft and gentle. Like this right here isn't a metal screen. These are like fiberglass screens. It's fairly oxidized. It's, it's probably about 15 years old or so. If you start off with a Dirtex first and use too much of the Dirtex, you could eat right through the screen. But John's getting it off pretty good there. It's almost gone. Say so almost, I think it's going to come off 100%. You know? Yeah, yeah. We won't have any problems here. It's just a matter of, uh, luckily, we were able to catch this pretty early on. So there you have it. The mess is all cleaned up. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Any tips or tricks um, before we leave, John? You know, just make sure you're using uh, some soft toothbrushes and you try to get to it as soon as you can. Don't panic, just kind of stop, get some water on it so that it, can, it doesn't dry and become more difficult. And then just kind of patiently kind of work it with that, uh, that toothbrush. There you have it, don't ever panic. You can always clean up your mess using the right tools and the right products to clean up with. There you have it, a simple tip, how to clean paint off of a screen. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Hit that little notification bell. That way you get notified every time. All the times. All the time we do have All a new video. Times. We'll see you next time. Can you find us anywhere else besides just here, John? In your dreams? Or maybe Instagram, Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is the Idaho Painter. We'll see you on our next video. Out. <laughs>